Hello, hello. Hey there. <coughs> How you doing, dude? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. And uh, your Discord sounds perfect, so your Discord's great. <laughs> Everything's going okay. great. Okay. Well, yeah, I just installed the uh, installed it, and uh, I mean, big picture, the <laughs> the reason why. So Bianca is here in the background. Uh, if you hear, um, okay. thanks, thanks to her. Yeah, thank um, you. Shout out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll shout out. So, um, yeah, super surprised. We just had dinner, and then she was kind of like, uh, "Open your gift." And I was like, she was kind of rushing me a bit. And I was like, "Why?" And then she's like, "I open." I was like, "Oh, that's super cool." So we had a not a time crunch or anything, but installed stuff, and and so the biggest issue um, potentially is I'm <laughs> I'm running a, a pretty old laptop. It's a Dell XPS uh, from like ten years ago. Oh, so. Damn. I was like, oh man, I'm still on Windows 7, so I'm like, I don't even know if Discord will work on here. Like, StarCraft barely runs, so, um, yeah. Well, that's, I mean, it sounds pretty so, good, so that's good. It's going good, at least. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. I, I, I have a headset um, I could put on, too, depending, like, if we go in-game or whatever, because there might be feedback or something, too, I'm guessing. Right now, this is just, like, straight off a laptop mic, so sure. um, I got that standing by. We got an iPad here, Bianca's iPad's here for a backup, and then, uh, yeah, so, nice, man. super, uh, yeah, super sounds interested. Like, sounds uh, like you got a ballin' setup over there. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> you said, no, that's cool, though. cell phones all over. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, so, uh, what about you? Are, are you, you're like in the States, right? Yeah, I'm in uh, Colorado, so. This is oh, like, cool. normally, a normal person would be like, I just had dinner, but I'm like, I just woke up like an hour and a half ago, because <laughs> I'm a degenerate <laughs> massively, so that's how it goes. Um, that's sweet. Yeah, man. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm up in Canada, so I think it's right now seven, so you're probably like two hours back or something? Yeah, from, yeah, exactly. You're so east, Eastern time, I'm mountain time, uh, and I, I, I feel like yeah. you, you probably know mountain time, most people in North America do. But whenever I tell anybody else, anywhere else in the world, oh, mountain time, they're like, what the hell is mountain time, dude? Yeah, what is yeah. <laughs> I'm like the forgotten time zone. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty familiar, actually, like for my work, I travel a decent amount, so I, uh, oh, nice. yeah, I'm used to different time zones and stuff, and yeah, it's all good. Um, yeah, I'm up in, I think I said I'm up in Canada, so yeah. shout out to the Colorado crew, that's gonna be super sweet, though. Yeah, it's, in, I don't know what part of it's I, I live near Denver. Uh, it's pretty nice over here. It's definitely uh, Colorado. Like the way it kind of is, is like when I was younger as a kid, it was like uh, everywhere. You, every time you want to go anywhere, it was it would be like driving by field after field after field. And then you get to where you want to be. And now it's like you drive by shopping complex after shopping complex after shopping complex. It's so much more oh. populated than it has been ever before. Uh, that's yeah. interesting that you've actually noticed that change. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, it hasn't been that long, right? It's because uh, it was well, like uh, I've when I was a kid when I lived here in the area, uh, it was just like nothing. And then I I kind of lived around a little bit, and, like I I kind of bounced around. But I'm I'm kind of living. I've been, I've lived most of my life in Colorado, but ever since I was probably mid twenties. It's definitely got like a boom ever since like weed got legalized essentially like the state just became super populated and yeah. uh, dude that just got uh like legalized here i don't know if you're aware of that yeah, so yeah uh, it's, i mean all the like pot shops popping up all over the yeah, place my and... brother my brother has a friend who's uh mounty and he uh basically he's super excited because he like or he almost like orders weed off Amazon. He's like, yeah, I got it delivered to my house now. <laughs> I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. I'm, I mean, I'm not like super, and I haven't tried it or whatever. I'm not like crazy. No, it's it neither, neither am I, honestly. Yeah. It's just kind of interesting because it's like, and there was the concern. Also, sorry, I don't know. Are we on like a time? I'm not sure how the time limit works uh, here. Yeah, about it. so it's, no worries. It's like hour, hour and a half, something like that. Okay. Um, and then, because Bianca mentioned something about potentially they're like streaming this, so are we online right now? We <laughs> are, at, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I don't know how much details you know, but yeah, we are live at the moment. Uh, I, I just started it. Oh. So, uh, yeah, don't say anything incriminating. <laughs> no, you're Dude, all, you're that's all, you're hilarious. <laughs> I have no freaking clue. Oh. <laughs> you're totally fine. Did you're, I say I mean, you, you're, I'll just let you know this for your own sake. You're very anonymous still right now, so you have nothing to worry about. Okay. <laughs> 
Like I, I don't like leak your full name, and I'm like, this guy is who it is. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, you could probably tell people they're being streamed online, no? Yeah, no, I, I yeah, I, I wasn't sure how much you knew about it, and normally, well, most of the time people know because it's not like a gift, but either way, even if you yeah. didn't know, you're very anonymous, so because I'll never leak your info. I'm, so it's. Uh, I'm not concerned. Yeah. I'm not concerned. That's hilarious, though. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, Say more. Um, <laughs> Sorry, dude. Well, this is cool. Yeah, I actually, I started, uh, yeah, so a bit of background history, I guess, just for, so you know where I'm coming from. It's, I played StarCraft and I think I'm about your age um, from what I've heard in some of your videos and stuff. And, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I played some RTS and stuff growing up. So I had to laugh Daniel. and you mentioned like Counter Strike 1.6 and the beta and stuff because I definitely was playing that in high school um, and then kind of got out of it for a long time and um, played a little bit of StarCraft too and then kind of let it go and, and just recently actually like seeing your videos um, you know thank thank YouTube or whatever the algorithm is that uh, put me onto your, your vids and started watching oh man this is like your instructional styles are just fantastic so I started reading it or, or playing again and yeah I went from like I mean you've heard it a million times I know but Legit went from like bronze to plat in like two months or so. So it was pretty. Yeah, it's been a good, a good little run. Nice man. That, um, yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's uh, it's it's always really cool to hear when people have like massive. That's a pretty big jump. So it's always really cool to hear when people have these like huge leaps forward in skill yeah. in the game. I've uh, like I've always just kind of enjoyed the RTS and stuff like that, um, but realized I was never really good. And then when you just explain the whole like macro stuff it's like oh my god like this is how it's meant to be played and i know i'm still i know i'm actually like just going through all your bdgm videos so i'm at the diamond three or diamond two now just watching them obviously not that level yet but um i know you, you talk about how the game is meant to be played and like it's yeah it's just super interesting so um yeah so I, i'm not really sure how this works i haven't really watched yeah, any of your, no worries like, three, all right it's it's kind of it, it's very easy peasy like it's there's, there's no like set exact uh, system we have to have and I know that you're not super prepared for this because it was more of a surprise so we have a lot of options here yeah uh, so basically yeah. What, what I would normally do is I would be telling people to like oh yeah have a replay and uh, we can like go over it it's because you know that's just what we could do but in your case I don't expect you to have like a replay just off the top of your head uh, if you really wanted to we could use like one of your recent replays if you if there's something that you played like yesterday or if, if you're I don't know how active you you play either but if you had something, that's totally fine. But if you don't have anything, we could um, just talk. We could talk like theory about the game. We could talk. We could break things down uh, about B to Jam. I could show you stuff, and I could have you like emulate it. That'd be a really easy way we could approach this. Or I could have you play live. That would that has like an aspect of fun to it, where like you get to have like a live coaching game. But it, it's definitely going to be a little bit more nerve wracking. I feel like because you're going to be like. I'm going to be critiquing your play as you do it. I'm going to be like, no, you got to do this now. You're going to be like, oh, fuck, I'm trying, dude. It's hard, though. I'm doing yeah. so many things. Uh, no, so, dude, yeah. honestly, that would be my preference. So, Bianca did mention, like, about this, and I know that people, like, get the replays where. So, I just quickly scanned before, and I, I did find one, and I didn't want to get, like, an hour-long one, obviously. So, I got one that's, like, okay. So, I do have one, but sure. honestly, the the – what you said like about you watching that would be my ideal yeah. um because then because i feel like having you in my ear like one time i just i had your video playing was like trying to follow along as you said stuff and it went pretty well um all right but, I, have, uh, I have i have an idea uh, you can tell me if this sounds good or bad but how about we do this just for the sake of like it's more or less like a like a time trial i could give you a live example right now for like we're talking like eight minutes or something like that and then i could break it down as i do it so you get like a quick like full-on refresher right in the moment right now and it'll keep everything fresh in your mind and then right yeah. after i do that you jump on and then i now spectate you trying to emulate what i just did and then once you do it we break down the differences of like time where we're at like okay well i'm here at eight minutes or something and you're here at eight minutes and let's break talk about why uh it might be different uh if it is different and then we'll break that down and help you like figure some stuff out. Does that sound good? Oh yeah. Something tells me it will be different. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it probably Five will. Five fucking years. Time that to sign super a prenup. Sweet. Um, again, you, I'm, I mean, you. I'm gonna get chirped in the Twitch chat probably, but for the like the old Dell on Windows Seven, I'm just not sure if I'll be able to like. 
cast it or whatever through Discord. Oh, you know, you, uh, if you're gonna so... play, we don't have to do that. That would only be if like we're oh. watching a replay. Oh, okay. So there's no way that you could like see me as I play live. Or... I could no. If I'm spectating the game, I can still see you play live. So you would just log into StarCraft, and then we would set up okay. a custom game, and then I'd have. I would like play against an AI just to like show you a build order and show you like show you how it should feel and how it should go, and then okay. it, you jump in right after me after I explain like how things are feeling and how things are going, and then I kind of watch you yeah. execute what I just told you and I show and I kind of like pay attention to what you're doing with things that you can improve on and then I help you figure those out when the, yeah. when your game's over. Okay, so I don't have to actually because I'll probably work better. Yeah, so it's just like you can observe in game or yeah, whatever, exactly. not through. Yeah, it's, it's the only thing we'll be doing at Discord at this point now is just talking. Okay. Yeah, dude, that'll probably work then. Okay, I have StarCraft running, obviously. All right. Um, so, if you are you online already right now? Or if you're not, uh, just log in whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm online. Um, All right. So, turn. so if if you're on, just in the if the chat channel on the bottom, the easiest way we could probably do this is if you type just. I'll type it in Discord just so you have a you can see it. Uh, it looks like just this right here, just slash join space vibu. Don't put a period though. The only reason why I put a period is because it won't show you what I typed in Discord otherwise. Okay. Uh, but yeah, if you just type that, you could be in the same channel as me, and uh, I could probably invite you to a game super quick. And uh, I, that's the onslaught, right? Or onslaught? Salut. <laughs> well, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, I used to be so. Well, if we got to that, yeah, it's kind of funny because I used to like back in the CS days, I was on slot, okay, like cool. on slot, and then I ran into another dude who had the same name. I was like, oh, that's kind of brutal. So um, I changed it to, I guess maybe I shouldn't go on uh, on on slot. <laughs> yeah, on sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, so I was out for a long time, and then kind of you know years go by, and I came on again, and people are kind of like, you probably shouldn't have that, and some games will like ban you right for having slot in your game. So, <laughs> yeah. so I added, I added an A in there, so it's yeah. yeah anyway. So I, the way I kind of guessed that your name was like all perfect at first. I was like onslaught, onslaught. <laughs> yeah, no, it's you're spot on. It, it definitely was that, and it's migrated into I don't even know onsalu or something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, sure, but, that's cool. Um, yeah, so I, I think I'm in the in Yeah, the I got you. I want to invite you to the game right now. Cool. And then uh, I'll make you spectator for this one specifically. And then uh, I'll just kind of break down. I'll give you like a quick breakdown of like how things should feel and what you should prioritize. And I 100% do not expect you to remember this. Uh, like, because it's just going to be a lot of shit going in, in and out of your ear. And you, there's probably going to be a couple things you remember. Which is why once you do it, I'll kind of remind you like gradually as you do it yourself. Okay, so around here, don't like if I see you're not doing it, I'll be like, don't forget, you gotta do this and make sure you're doing yeah, this. That's so that's so so sweet, man. Uh, I should I guess I should just call you Vibe. Yeah, that's, um, that's cool. That's sweet, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, and so you can see I'm I've dropped down. I actually dropped down a bit. I'm back in gold because I kind of like went up the plat and then I don't know what happened. I went on a bad run, so I'm back <laughs> in gold now. The new season started, so no, for sure. Anyway, it's uh, I'm not. I feel like I feel like StarCraft is uh, it's almost like weightlifting in the sense that like you can your skill can atrophy so fast if you're not always just staying on top of it. So it's it's something that can be very unforgiving. And if you even if you somehow like forget a core element of the gameplay and you start like thinking it's something else. Like it dilutes in your brain is to be like, okay, this is what I should be doing right now. I think, and you're like, and then you start losing a lot, and you're like, wait, why am I losing now? And then it, you might not realize, but it's probably because you're investing your time in a negative way for yourself. Well, and it sounds silly. I, uh, <laughs> I actually got into like chess, I think last year a little bit too, and it, it's very similar to Star. I'm going full nerd here, I guess. Sure. But, yeah. uh, um. And what I noticed with that is when I was playing like later at night, I would lose a lot more. And I actually note the same thing with StarCraft where I know you obviously craft like a lot every day or whatever. But for me, if I'm like playing later at night, I'm just like not on as much. And so like if I play a little earlier, I'm actually like a little sharper and just, eh. I don't know. It's got to be like time for the same thing, like chug a coffee. You're like, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it's super fun. I just, I love the challenge of it. It's, it's constant, you know, constant challenge because you can never really, yeah, you, you can never master it, I guess. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's super fun. All right. So, uh, I assume you're a Terran player, right? 
Uh, yeah, so, okay. yeah, Terran. I actually, I played Zerg a bit, too. I got that up to, like, gold using the BGM, and then cool. I switched back to Terran because that's what I used to play. So okay. I'd say, yeah, high high gold on both-ish. Okay, and then uh, uh, with Terran, what what do you think is, like, your kind of preferred play style? Are you kind of, like, the more mech kind of guy? Are you, like, the mech BGM guy, or are you the bio kind of guy? Uh, so your latest series, yeah, the 2021 okay. with the bio. All right, Which is good. funny, actually... When I used to play, I tried doing drops, and I kind of liked that style. And so when you started doing that in whatever silver or whatever, I was like, "Oh man, this is super sweet!" Like, I, yeah, it really it fits well. All right, so just tell me. I'll give you a game plan as to what we can do here, and then you tell me if this sounds like right up your alley. Like, it's it's very going to be like super similar to B to GM, but I'll just give you like a quick like like thirty second template or whatever of like the idea here. So what we can do. Is we're gonna like set up for a defensive expansion. We're gonna take our like our natural essentially. We're gonna go into marine tank as an opener. We're gonna take our third base, and then we're gonna be also having our starport coming online. And we're just gonna gradually do like you just said, with like one drop at a time. With it'll not only be a scout, but it'll also be like a harassment tool. And then after that, it'll just be setting up to do a big push. Uh, after we've kind of identified where our opponent's bases are, once we have like a high army supply, which is basically 200. Yeah, yeah, that kind of aligns with what I think I've learned from okay. your videos. Okay, cool. So I'll give you an idea. We'll, we'll just like run through it. I'll give you an idea on how uh, we can make it work, how we can make, make, it, make it feel good and shit. And then uh, I'll have you jump in and do it right after I did. And then, yeah, just do your best. And I'll kind of, I'll, I'll, I'll really try as well to talk about what I am doing as a priority as well while we do this. So it's you can actually okay. be like, okay, so he's doing this right now because this is important at this point in the game. He's not, but he's not doing it constantly. He, there's other things that are important at other times, but this is important now because of this or something like that. Uh, okay. So you'll understand like why what things are going on. But anyways, are you ready? Fire it up. All right, man, let's do it. Yeah, and then I'll have you jump in and try to re-emulate what I just did. And we'll, we'll probably stop this at either 8 or 10 minutes, depending on how the game is going. Pro probably 10 minutes, honestly, because we'll go for, like, a max. Uh, okay. And then I'll have you try to emulate and see yeah. how you go. I definitely, uh, oh, I wonder if it's, like, can you still hear me while it's loaded? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, minor success. The computer's not crashed then, I guess, <laughs> with all these apps. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I definitely, I if I had to self-assess, I mean, I'll let you do your thing here, but I can self-analyze a bit after, too, maybe. Sure. Big job. All right, so obviously rally our command center to the ramp first, just to get our first depot down. I would recommend yep. doing the far depot, just because your SCV has the maximum travel time anyways, and if you do the close depot, I mean, it's not really a big deal either way, but I always do far depot because he has to wait anyways, so the little bit of a further travel time is whatever. He's not missing anything. Yep. Then I'm stacking close patches. If you don't do this already, I'm sure you've probably heard me talk about this many times, but definitely stack close patches if you don't already do it. Like, just take your time, like, right now to do that, because there's nothing else really going on. And once you stack close patches, you're good to go. Yeah. Then we can take our gas with our racks. It's, yeah. It's funny you say about the stack patches, because when you first explain, like, man, that seems like rocket science, and then you do it a few times, and then... I'm not at the point where I can just like look at it straight up, but sure. after a few seconds, like, ah, oh, that one looks like it needs something. Yeah, exactly, so right? I'm guessing. Yeah, and it definitely makes the biggest world of difference for your, uh, just your efficiency in the early game about how fast you can expand and everything like that. And then when, now, right. now my gas is done. I'm pulling off two SCVs to saturate it. I purposely pulled two SCVs off of far patches to do it, not close patches. Right. I didn't just grab two random ones. Because you can, you can definitely, you? or go ahead, sorry, you go. Uh, I think you got some stuff coming up here, so I'll let you Oh, you're all good. Um, yeah, and also feel free to interrupt me at any point in time. I really don't mind if you ever do. So we can okay. we can Thanks. scout him uh, with our barracks SCV. We have another SCV coming down now to build our command center. And this, I'm going to actually pause it really fast, okay? I'm going to actually ask you a question. Do you... F I'm going to answer question yeah. perfectly <laughs> no. well it's more of a preference it's, there's no wrong answer here for you okay i'm not gonna quiz you or anything right now okay <laughs> but uh that was the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> but do you ever use a reaper the answer and either answer is fine for now like for for your current league 
So when I got all the way up to platinum, the answer was no. Okay. And then I started watching your diamond videos. Sorry, this is I'm not answering yes or no. I started trying. I was like, ooh, that looks like fun. Knowing that it would probably mess me up, but I was like, ah, it'll just be fun to try. So then I tried a few games, and yeah, it doesn't usually go well. Okay. So I'm going to uh, – do you want to learn how to use Reaper better? Sure, yeah. Like I said, I, I, I'm just on the, on the cost. Like I know <sighs> – I think I know what I'm not doing well, and it's all the things that you talk about. I know you've taught thousands of people, so yeah. it's like, yeah, okay, you start doing other things, and then you mess up your build, right? Okay. So I'm, so I'm, yeah. I'm gonna I'm, give I'm you, on the edge. yeah, I'm open to tips for sure. Yeah, I was, I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to use a Reaper here and how to cool. minimize fucking yourself up with the Reaper and be like, not being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get, all, I'm gonna get all the workers. Oh shit, I'm not. I have a thousand minerals. <laughs> oh no, like yeah. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Oh, it's good, man. A thousand minutes are red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I got so much money to spend now. Damn. Uh, like, oh, God. Yeah, right. Uh, no, but I'll, I'll actually go Reaper this game as part of the build. And sure. th this is something that you could skip if you want to, and it would just instead be making a Marine, and then you just play defensive, which is what we're going to do right after the Reaper. So essentially, you would just jump right into what I would do after the Reaper's over if you don't make it. But if you do make the Reaper... I will use it in this game, and I'm only going to use it a couple times, and I'll give you an idea once we start using it as to, like, what you should try to do with it and how to maximize your time with it uh, as to, like, what okay. you're doing in the whole yeah. game. So we'll use the and Reaper I think, uh, Yeah, I think I saw some of the... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you go. It's all good. I, was just saying, I, did, I did note some of the, you know, I watched some of the videos where you kind of like, okay, move it to a safe spot. Like when it's traveling or whatever, that's when you go back and, and do stuff. So I get I get the general idea. It's just, mm -hmm. it's hard for me to do that at this point. <laughs> for sure. No, it, well, it's, it just takes like experience and com like comfortability of like feeling like you have the build down. And if, you, if, you, if you're if yeah. going to do this like your first time or like your third time or something like that, you're going to be like, all over the place you're gonna okay this does not feel comfortable at all and everything feels like it falls apart in a second but yeah it just takes time and then once you once you kind of like have done it enough it'll feel easy peasy to do because you're doing it every time right so the more you do it the better you get at it uh for sure for sure so anyways i am actually you're actually a referee so you're the only person who can unpause the game so <laughs> if you have a pause button on your keyboard on your laptop keyboard i don't know if you do you probably do you can just press that but if you don't you can just hit f10 and hit resume as well that's super funny imagine i'm like no nah, you know what i'm not going to allow us the rest of that <laughs> yeah let's we'll... just talk then dude we'll, we'll theory craft yeah <laughs> we'll just... well, <laughs> what'd you eat uh, yeah i got resume here all right good to go? yeah i'm good to go all right so now we'll grab another scv and we'll build a depot What's going on? So we don't supply block this first SCV will just go down to his natural mineral patch and jump back uh, to ours, just because we don't need to really scout into his main now since we have a Reaper coming. Right, uh, so you're just checking for the experience. Right? Yep, yep, yep. And then the Reaper will actually check you... in the base. Okay. Are you getting feedback right now? Because I don't no. even have my head. I, it feels sounds good to me. It doesn't actually sound bad at all. Okay. All right. And then, let me know if you get. Sure. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. All right, now we're going to be going to a gas and a factory right around the time when our marine finished with a reactor as well. So all three of these buildings went down super, really close together. And I'm going to pause one more time just for the sake of explaining, okay? So our, yeah. our Reaper, this is so this is a Reaper explanation here. All we're going to do, okay, is our Reaper was rallied. Uh, I don't know if I can ping while the game is paused, but essentially the mineral line above his main base okay like above our opponent's main base yeah just outside the reaper yeah. jump spot that's where we rallied it to and then as soon as the reaper popped out i re-rallied the barracks back yeah. to like inside of our base so our marines don't also walk over there um i'm laughing i'm just saying i'm guaranteed to be forgotten and your marines are my yeah, marines yeah right you have like five marines down there you're like wait what the fuck is my yeah. army ah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah just make sure when you hear when the reaper spawns try to rally your barracks back to your base yeah that way because the reason why you want to do this is because if anything is happening at the exact moment when a Reaper spawns, you want it to already be like heading to your opponent's base and not just sitting there at the barracks. So it it definitely yeah. like saves you some time. Uh, now the second thing we did, okay, this will be your first checkpoint. As soon as you, uh, so just to make this explanation, we'll, we'll I'll talk about this again, okay, when you do yours. But the the it's all about your gas and about your timing. 
So when we're gonna, what we're gonna do is the Reaper's gonna get to the guy's base. It's gonna get outside of his base and it's gonna sit there just for a second. And it, you're gonna get faster at this the more you do it. But the aim of the or the goal here is gonna be as soon as you have about 140 gas in the bank. Okay. After this is after you've already made the Reaper and he's like running across the map. You're gonna and you're starting a Marine now. You're gonna have about 140 gas in the bank and you're gonna be making a factory. You're going to be making a second gas, and you're going to be making a reactor on your barracks. So you're going to be making three buildings all at once right now while your Reaper's crossing the map. And I want you exactly. to make those buildings, and as soon as you have that, that's the priority. So as soon as you have your base set up, grab your Reaper and run it through his base. And that's that's the first yeah, scout. That yeah, yeah that's, that's the first round of scout for you. And what you're going to do as well is you're not going to sit there and shoot SCVs for now. You're not gonna try to do that until you're really comfortable with just doing the basic like version of the of the macro version of it. You can eventually start shooting his SCVs and stuff or his whatever race he is, his probes. If you get really comfortable with doing this and then you can be like, oh, I can handle this no problem. It feels good. I, I you know, this is easy. But what we're, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a pass around the back of his, so I'm clicking at the back of his gas. You can kind of see the angle my Reaper's taking if uh, you look at it. Yep. And we're going to go behind the gas, then we're going to go down the bottom of the mineral line, our, around the other gas, and we're going to bounce out of the natural and leave his base. And if, yeah, it, if it's yeah, if it's the kind of map, for whatever reason, that doesn't allow you to jump off the side of his natural, we can just take a pass right back where we came from and go back out the reaper jump spot as we came in. So we're just like, or just, just trying to get out of his base without dying, essentially. Uh, so we're, we're just trying to go around the perimeter of his base, more or less, and then get out. That's the aim here. Not going through the center of it. Because uh, if you go through the center, you're going to probably die. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, th that'll be the goal. Then, so I'm not going to kill anything. I'm just going to get in, get out, and leave. And then I'll give you another scout timer a little bit later. And we'll, we'll kind of talk. I'll pause it one more time then. But once we do that, that'll probably be the last time we pause it. Because we only need to scout with the Reaper literally like maybe two or maybe three times. And then we're done. So it's, just, it's really just okay. the scout is all he's doing. It saves you the, 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 the... It just makes it easier to like... No, like have an idea to start understanding of what a build your opponent could be doing and be like oh cool i have an idea of what could be hitting me right now so uh you know you're playing defensive either way so it doesn't really change what you're doing but it helps you start learning how to read a game essentially but yeah uh yeah uh, whenever you're ready i was uh I was half tempted to just unpause it as you're talking. Oh, I would have, I would have literally been like let's fucking go dude i'm <laughs> i'm totally like ready for that oh. shit i don't even mind <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh our natural is almost done we're getting through his base and we're gonna get out so you can see this map doesn't have a reaper jump spot so if he doesn't have a wall there you can just run out but if he does if he does you want to just get out some other way that's totally fine okay so we'll rally our, our we'll, we'll get two more scvs on our gas and there we go we got two scvs on the gas so now our main is fully perfect get our natural as a Orbital Command. We can make a tech lab on our, uh, uh, what's it called, our factory. And we'll start another barracks right now, and we can also start a starport. So this is like, yeah, this is like a super, this, this could be like a super safe version of the build, and then we'll take a third command center here pretty soon. But for now, our Reaper is just, our, our Reaper is just chilling for a sec here. There's no, uh, there's no threat, there's no reason to feel... Like, we gotta go, go, go for just a moment because we just scouted what he was doing. The idea would be is we have a little bit of time now before we need to scout again to figure things out. I also just noted, sorry to jump in, but sure. I dropped the I said A there. I was like, oh man, Twitch chat's gonna be chirping the stupid Canadian for saying A all the time. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, no, you're all good, dude. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> I feel like I talk to Canadians all the time. I don't even, I don't even realize. <laughs> like, you're totally well, fine. <laughs> All right, and then now uh, our first tank will go on the high ground, and we'll set that up. And here in just a second now, we're gonna be able to have enough resources because we're getting a lot now at the at the natural. We're gonna have enough resources here in just a second to throw down our third, which is basically like right now. And right now, I'm gonna pause one more time. So right now, our third just went down, and we are now going to scout his base again. Okay, so the uh, we don't have to go too heavily into detail about what we need to be looking at because that is a shitload of info 
that is going to take you down a rabbit hole of scouting. I would say the simple, the most simple thing you should be looking for when you scout somebody is it's literally as simple as this, okay? How many main bases do they have? How many, like, nexus do they have? How many hatcheries do they have? Or how many command centers do they have? And if the number is the same as you, okay, uh, we feel like it's like a steady, like, okay, I feel good. If it's less than you, yeah. then you should probably feel like you are probably just be mentally brace yourself that you're probably going to get attacked. That's how the game is probably going to go. You're going to yep. be the one be on the defensive side. And if they have more than you, faster than you, then that means that your drops are probably going to be more effective. That's all that means. It's just okay. It's, so it's kind of three scenarios. Yeah, it's, it's just like it's just like bracing yourself for like the tempo of what the game is probably going to feel like. It has not like you. You can definitely get a lot more elaborate than that, but is that is all the, the the basic understanding you really need? It's just looking for main bases, and if they have more or less or the same as you, d dictates if you should feel defensive. If you feel like you're going to be able to be a little bit, if your aggressive stuff is going to be more effective, or if it's going to be like even like even Stevens, you guys are the same going through the game for now, and it means you're because either way your build's going to be the same. That's why I don't want you to think too hard about this. Your build's gonna be the same either way. I don't want to think at all, but exactly. I, I want. I want you to just press the buttons. <laughs> I, to to I want you to put the circle on um, the circle hole. <laughs> no. I want you to get an MS Paint and show me something. <laughs> yeah. crack up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but you're you're like you're, it's a super useful tool, though, dude. It's super useful. No, I know. Like, I, it's I, I try to like. Whenever I do analogies, whenever I do like paint stuff, like graphs and things like that, I definitely try to like explain shit in a way where a lot of people can understand it. So, yeah. I can only I, I I'm usually watching on YouTube though, right? So I don't like uh, I don't see what Twitch chat's saying, but I'm just imagining because sometimes you comment, and you're like, oh, Twitch is losing their mind about like, oh, here goes Vibe with another fucking paint. Yeah. MS Paint. Play. Now they uh, people but, uh, oh they always like rate my analogies and a lot of times they're always like you're not that analogy was fucking terrible okay that was like a really bad one this time and then every once in a while I have like a super usually, good one yeah and they're usually pretty good they're usually pretty good I'd say. <laughs> yeah uh, you're too kind <laughs> Twitch chat is not as kind sometimes <laughs> um, you good to go yeah I'm good to go so yeah now that we started our third base we are gonna throw like well you know. Uh, make sure our buildings are running smoothly, make sure we have like things in production, and we'll just jump through his base one more time. And we'll do the exact same thing we did last time, uh, once again, while we go through his base. So we're just running around in a circle. While we're running in a circle, we right click, hit 5, make a CVs, hit 4, make Marines, tab, make a tank, things like that, and we run out. And now after that, after that, if your Reaper is still alive, you can do one of two things. You can either run at home if you want to, or you can literally just go to his middle line and just let it start attacking, because you really don't need a scout anymore. Honestly, it's you're kind of kind of done here. Um, so going back to what you said, right now we're like, oh fuck, there's no expansion. I mean, we know it's not the case. Obviously, yeah, but yeah. it's probably gonna attack you, right? Because he's yeah. So let's actually yeah, we can talk about that actually. I want to pause it just to talk about it, uh, just for a sec. Yeah. If this was actually a situation where you're like, oh, this guy's like legit fucking one basing me, what you should do right now, okay? We're gonna be doing this either way. This uh, this actually here, you know what? This is something that's going to be super useful for you, 100%. If your opponent has as many bases as you, then uh, has as many bases as you do, do the build as normal, okay? Uh, just be, you're fine. Yeah. If, the, if the opponent has more bases than you, again, do the build as normal, you're fine. Just expect that your drops are probably going to be doing more damage. It's more likely to happen. Uh, so you might want to like, you know, look at them every once in a while and be like, oh, I'll load this up and drop another base because that was actually a good drop. It's just a higher chance that that's going to happen. Uh, and now mm -hmm. here's the here's the kicker, okay? Either way, right now, no matter no matter what his build is, okay, we're going to be making engineering bays like right now. But if your opponent has less bases than you do, as soon as your engineering bays are done, instantly make one turret per middle line, just one, right in the middle of your middle line. Because if your opponent has okay. less economy than you, Odds are, especially in like gold league, platinum league, there's a good chance your opponent's like, I'm going a fucking battle cruiser, <laughs> or like I'm gonna go for a couple void rays, or an oracle, or some yeah. air unit. It happens a lot, or like banshees. It's gonna happen. That kind of shit's gonna happen a lot. So, if your opponent doesn't have a good economy right now, it looks like you have way better. Definitely just make a turret. One, just just one per meter line, because you already have marines anyways. So that's gonna be super useful there. But a one, like one turret per middle line will definitely uh, help. So I guess what we can do is, once we resume it, I'll just pretend that this guy is one basing me, and I'll make turrets like you would. And I'll, 
Uh, so, something that's really important as well. Try to make sure you do this, okay? There's two rules about making a turret. The first rule is put it in the middle of the middle line every single time. As middle as you can. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just try to like guesstimate the middle. It's, it's pretty obvious if you think about it that way. But always put it in the middle. And so the, or go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, you, you, you go. It's all you good. mess up the SPGs when you put it in the middle? Uh, well, some people, like, they don't think about it. And they're like, I'll put it on the side of my gas to, like, zone out the Banshee. Then the Banshee goes, like, a different way. And then it sits over the middle line in Cloak. And then you're like, oh, now i got to scan anyways. And it's like, well, you had a greedy turret that you were hoping would just, like, completely deny everything. And he just went around it. And then he got in your middle line anyways. And then that's when people start making, like, three turrets per middle line. And you're like, okay, this is too much now. And you're wasting too many resources. Mm -hmm. But if you just, but here, here okay. or go ahead, sorry, you go. Yeah, sorry, my question was just more about, um, like, if you physically build the turret in the middle, I mean, it doesn't seem to, but doesn't that, like, block their pathing? That's the, the second thing I was going to tell you. That's the second, yeah, exactly. I'm glad you said that, because that's, right. that's fucking true. You would if you built it, and this is the second rule. If you build it against the middle line, that is really bad. That fucks up the pathing okay. hardcore. But if you build it against the command center, it's really good. It barely even disrupts it ever. Like it, it, it's negligible as hell. It doesn't really do much there at all. And the protection that it offers you is so much more value than anything else. It's gold. Cool. It's gold, cool, Jerry. Yep, yep. Just gotta you gotta build it in the middle and against the command center, and then you're okay. you're good to go. Uh, and so less bases. I see less bases. I'm building one turret next to the command center in the in the middle of the Malpatches yep. area. Yep, and that's per per base. And then you'll do it at every base from then on the rest of the game. Uh, and then no matter okay. what, no matter what, if you if if the game gets to a point where let let let's just say it's like a normal macro game, it would not be a bad idea to add one turret per meter line, like once your third base is set up, and like from then on, like so like right now if it's like a a guy on lower bases than us, we're probably going to take it, like, right now before our third setup. But if it was a normal game, you would take it after your third base has, like, 15 SCVs on it. And, like, you're like, oh, I have a ton of money now. Let's throw one, three turrets down in my bases, one per meter line. And then every base after that. Because there's a good chance in every game you're going to play that there's going to be someone having DTs in your bases. Or someone running around, like, a <laughs> lurker. Yeah. Or like, something that's cloaked, essentially. And you're going to be like, I need fucking detection. And it's going to help a lot. Yeah, it's worth a hundred bucks or whatever. It yeah, is. and it, and it, yeah, to keep in mind too, a lot, this is a huge uh, like just uh, economical tip. The more money you have, the less one hundred minerals per base feels like you'll you won't feel it as much because you have just yeah. fucking so much more income per minute, right? So at that point in the game, once you're at like you're six seven kid. minutes, you won't even know. It's like I'll give you an analogy, vibe. It's like when you're a little kid and you've got a paper out. You know, and uh, you go to the candy store and buy a chocolate bar for a dollar, and that's like, oh my god, it's like a tenth of my paycheck. But now you're a grown adult, and a chocolate bar doesn't uh, seem still to a tenth of my paycheck. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> so, which, which I can rate that analogy. Go ahead. No, that was really good. I, it makes total sense. It's exactly real. It's true. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we can uh, start it back up again whenever you're ready, and I probably won't pause it anymore. We'll just run through the rest of the build. And, um, yep, and then we'll just, uh, have you run through it right after. Uh, so, so now I'm starting my double engine bays. My mules are dropping at my natural. We're sieging our tanks. Now, well, you can either stop at, like, three or four tanks. We'll stop at, like, three this game. It's totally fine. Um. I feel like I've been doing three and it's been fine. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's fine. Uh, three definitely is really strong. Four is like massively overkill. Like if you really think you're gonna die and you really need it, then you can make a fourth. But if you're like not really feeling the pressure, and you're like like right now the guy hasn't even attacked you yet, you can totally just get away with three and you're fine. Okay, and then we're gonna start. We're still making SCVs. We're cranking them out. We're gonna have some oversaturation going on here pretty soon, and uh, <coughs> we're gonna now get ready to start our uh, extra. Our nether base right now, and then extra production. So we're just really trying to crank out units nonstop. Uh, the third base is now done. We can move a tank to cover it properly. We'll move like one of our tanks down. We can move some army down to cover it as well. And right about here, really soon as well, we're going to be starting a drop to go scout our opponent. Okay. Uh, I also told you I was going to make turns, so I kind of forgot about doing that, but I'll, I'll do it right now. Uh, and then, with my poor analogy. <laughs> yeah, no, you're all good. Uh, and then there we go. We have turrets at every base. Our bases are also all properly saturated. 
So everything is running well. Once I turn the mains down, the SV will go back to mining. And then now we can send out two medevacs of, of Marines. We'll send out one on the left and we'll send out one on the right. So one goes on the left and we'll just check all the bases. One goes on the right and we will check the bases. Meanwhile, we're still just slamming out units and now we're gonna throw in some extra production so that we can, uh, uh, you know, support our economy as well as we can. And we're also having another command center so we can support our um, you know, our, our economy, all that shit, basically. We're just looking, we're looking pretty good here. Supply depots insufficient. Okay. Open lords. I, 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 your avatar announcer is fucking sick, by the way. That's my favorite one. <laughs> I actually just heard him for just a moment there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, avatar is badass. All right, and then now we're checking the bases. So there's nothing there. So we'll check if there's a natural. And there was nothing above his main either. So we can now, I'm actually going to pause this one time really fast, okay? So this is a moment. You keep lying to me, Bob. Why do you keep lying to me about so, never pausing again? I'm sorry, again? but I just want to, I want you to know that at this point in time, we should definitely do two things. Drop, as soon as you sign, find out where his base is, <clears throat> this is a big, big tip, okay? That, I don't know how much I talked about this in the BGM series, but this is something that you should be doing. Try to drop your medevacs at the same time. So if one inside discovers something really, really, really early, try to, like, it's like a judgment call. Try to only execute the drop in that base if it's really fucking exposed. If it's like a proxy base, essentially, that's like a ninja base. But if it's like right and next, or go ahead. Early start or something, or? Yeah, like you just don't want to like start it too fast because you want your drops to hit at the same time. If you make your, yeah. if you make your drops go together, if, if, if he's like got a defensively postured base, and if your drops go at the same time, the odds of you doing damage to his economy go up astronomically because he'll probably fix it on one and the other one will do damage. Like it's That's super... what I would do if I were getting attacked from two places at once. Exactly, right? Like it's just the odds are it's, instead of doing like one drop when one medevac gets there 18 seconds before the other and then he defends the one and then he defends the other because he does one at a time with like a big in, uh, difference of time in between the two. So if you realize there's no ninja bases, don't drop it super fast. Just chill for a sec. And once your second medevac gets there, you can uh, set up the drop. And then uh, okay. let's just hypothetically say, okay? Let's hypothetically say this guy was somehow still on one base. A really clever way you could do this would be you could drop your first drop at the natural and then attack his front door. And then right as you're attacking his front door, drop his main mineral line. Because you get his attention at the front yep. door and then you just yep. kill some SUVs yep. or something. Yeah, nice. And then the last thing I'll say about this is, is if he's got like mass siege tanks and he's like killing you as you start to try to engage the door, there's just like tanks plowing you away. Probably just don't even do the main drop. Just, just be like, okay, well this guy's like one base massively turtling and he's like got all his siege around his base. Let's just, let's just max out. <laughs> Cause yeah. Yeah. If, even if you do I lose. Feel like, or, uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's probably, I'm, I don't know if I've ever seen that, but. Maybe yeah, exactly. I, I don't think you will, but if, if, there's people play fucking weird as shit sometimes, but just know that if these two medevacs do die, it's not the end of the world for you. It's not a huge deal. But I'm just trying to give you like ideas on like how you can make it feel effective for yourself uh, when you attack your opponent. Yeah. Being at the same time and, and intentionally delaying the one. Exactly. That definitely makes sense. Yeah. And then now I promise from here on out we're not gonna we're not gonna stall anymore. We'll just max out and I we'll uh, we'll we're good to go, dude. I, pr I promise. So whenever you're ready, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll keep making our depots. Da, da, da. We got our next base also started. We'll make our add-ons for these racks we just made. And our, our armory is almost done, so we'll be starting our next level of upgrades in just a sec. Okay, and then if you want to as well, you can start using the factory as Thor Maker. I think I told people that as well in the series. Like making Thors as an ad in addition to your Marines are not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I man, one of the best tips was you uh, putting them into high impact payload. Oh yeah. my god, it's disgustingly good. No, that it's oh. yeah, it's it's like universally effective in many ways. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I was blown away when I started doing that against, like, Colossus and stuff. It was just made such a difference. Yeah. Okay, so our opponent just died. <laughs> but, uh, so we just, all we did was we stim two Marines at the same time, and we just, like, won the game.
But we'll, we'll continue the build just until I get my initial max. Just so you can get a feel for like when I max to then seeing when you max. Uh, to see if you're like kind of on point here or not. Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm usually not as fast as I think. I think I'm like, I'm going good, I'm going good. And then, I don't know, usually I think around like the seven, eight minute mark, I just, I stop building, I think, because um, I start doing the drops. And then, yeah, usually I'm only like, I don't know, 10, 30, 10, 30, 11 ish by the time I max. But yeah. So just know to all, like all, one... all I did with those drops oh. is I, I literally just hit stim pack and I didn't do, I didn't touch shit. I was like, drop, drop, yeah. stim pack, stim pack, and that's all I'm doing. Um, I guess. Yeah. All right. So, basically, we're maxing out at essentially like as soon as that depot's done, it's gonna be like a 950 max, I guess. Uh, exactly. We're we're maxed at like 953. Okay. So, we'll stop it there, and then my army right now is we got like two Thors. We got a third one, or uh, there's no third one on the way. We got two Thors. We got three tanks. We got um. What is that? Like nine medevacs, and then um, yeah. So, and then all marines for the rest of it. And we have, we actually made. I'm not gonna lie. I I was talking to you, and I made too many SVs. But if this ever happens to you, because <laughs> I made 96. If this ever happens to you, you're more than welcome. <laughs> you end up like you. <laughs> you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're more than welcome to be like, all right, let's send like 16 of these to go die, or like 10 of them to go die, and drop it down to like mid 80s. If you ever notice you went over like yeah. that, definitely do that. What I'm doing right here, whether you send like a little SCV train out, just get rid of some of it yeah. if you're already maxed out because it'll just weaken your army otherwise. Uh, but you definitely made a lot of money getting there, so it's totally fine. Um, but yeah, anyways, that'll be that'll be the build we maxed out. We'll just say right about ten minutes to make it to average it off. And yeah, I mean, if I yeah. if I could do that, that would be pretty good. I think that would, that should be probably where I was at. And on, and on my best games, I bet I'm maybe yeah between 10 and 10 30. Mm -hmm. um obviously with no pressure right like when people pressure you then things the wheels on the wagon start rattling a bit <laughs> yeah. but uh um yeah so cool all right uh all right so pop out of that uh, game if you haven't already I don't, I don't actually see you at the moment uh just it's loading oh, okay sure exit there we go i'll now i'm gonna break your computer by inviting you to a new game really fast okay and then now I will I will not pause this on you, okay? I you just do your best. I won't talk too much about theory. That's why I wanted to talk a lot about theory in that replay we just did. I will just give you yeah. super straight to the point reminders of like what you should be doing. And we can talk a little bit about theory when it's over and just do your best to like I'll again I'll, I'll give you reminders to like stay on top of shit. But do your best to emulate what just happened. And just a quick, the biggest things of all that you need to remember, and if you if you want to just skip the Reaper, you can totally skip the Reaper. You don't have to do it. Uh, but the biggest, I, I might not. Yeah, I'm just like because I haven't. I don't know. It, it's just slightly different, I guess. It's not a big deal, but it mm -hmm. was like the Reaper. I mean, I'll try it. Screw it. Why not? But yeah, if you want, it was like that factory reactor refinery at the same time. It's just like a little different than what I've been normally doing. But sure. man, I'll, I'll take it for a spin. Sure. Let's, all all let's, you got to do with the it. Reaper, just today, and don't try to micro it. Just literally be like, I'm gonna go around his binner line, get out of his base. Go around his binner line, get out of his base. Cool. And then you'll do it. You do it two okay. times. You do it the first time after the initial setup of the the three things we just said that you just said: the refinery, factory, and the reactor. And the second time you do it is yep. right after you plant the third base. Okay. And then I'll give you confidence with your uh, with your high level instruction. Yeah. We'll be able I'll, to do this. I'll give you before you get to the point that you're at. I will give you a. I'll, I'll give you like the next step, the next step, the next step. So I'll kind of like be your Three. guide on as to what you should be doing next, and then try to keep up with it. Man, and then, this is awesome. Yeah. For, uh, I'm I'm happy that. I wasn't sure that, it, that we'd be able to do like a live thing like this. This is this is spot on. I'm super. Yeah, fuck super yeah, man. Well, do your best, and uh, hopefully your laptop doesn't die. <laughs> it's lasted so long. <laughs> yeah, I read. no. I mean, fuck, uh, dude. Yeah. I, I feel you, man. I had a key. I used the same keyboard for like ten years. So, if it works, it works, right? It's stuck on the computer. All right. Well, I if you whenever you're ready, let me know, and I'll start you up, and then I'll try to help you out here. Yeah, good to go. It's saying uh, waiting for host still on my okay. screen. I got you. Good luck, man. How many uh, How many people are in, in Twitch right now that are uh, embarrassing themselves? Right now, <laughs> it's 100 at the moment. Okay. Not too many. 
Hi, Twitch chat. They're, they're like, hey. Hey. What's up, dude? Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Everybody having a good night? Hey. Uh, hey. I think hey. They're probably having a great time. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Focus up. Here. Yeah. Here we Start go. that SCV and then rally your command center to the ramp. Queue up another SCV. Rally it back to the middle line. Good shit. Make that depot. Uh, you're doing great, dude. You're on point already. Make an SCV. You're doing wonderful. Uh-oh, you missed about one second there, but it's okay. Because <laughs> hey, I started to stack my patches. Yeah, I know for sure. I got you. All right. And save money now for a barracks and a refinery. So a refinery, and then make another SCV. Good job on grabbing a far patch SCV for that, by the way. That was really good. Thank you, sir. And you can right now as well rally your SCV building the racks to his base while it's building the racks. And then keep making SCVs. What's up? SCV base, wasn't it? Hmm? Sorry, what's up? I, I rallied it to the enemy base. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, you can scout with the barracks okay. SCV is all I mean once it's done. All right, good, oh, yeah. good job with the SCVs on the gas. <clears throat> Keep making SCVs. Good job. And then this will be your last SCV you make. You can rally your command center to the natural. Make a command center with that SCV and instantly make an orbital command when it's done. So orbital command, make a marine, and then start your command center as soon as you can. And re-rally your main command center to the main mineral line. Whenever you're ready. Can you see what I'm looking at right I now? I can, yep. I'm watching your camera. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, and then uh, keep make, and then make a, get ready to make a supply depot. You're going to supply block otherwise really soon if you don't. This better be good. And then get ready. Save money now for a SCV. Drop a mule. Command center up. And then you can drop down a uh, reactor on your barracks. And you can start a factory oh, as well as soon as you finish that. So... Start a factory, make another CV, make a refinery as well. Uh, I think it's gone. Oh, no, the second oh, one. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Keep making SCVs. Grab that SCV that built the depot. They can go back to mining. Yeah, and you can start uh, when you get it, like probably after this SCV that gets made, make another barracks as well. So start another SCV and then make a racks because you can afford it. All right, and then you can shift rally your SCVs that are making buildings into your mineral line again, so they're not going to sit there afterwards. I should be doing a bunker, right? Because I didn't see a, uh, see a thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, for, yeah, normally, yeah. Uh, but just screw the bunker for now. It's fine. Uh, get your SCV okay. mining minerals. Keep making SCVs. So I'm going to... Uh, yeah, your start part's fine. Your start part's good. I didn't even tell you to do it, but I was going to tell you to do it soon, so you're fine. Uh, so make, keep making SCVs. And then try to maintain production out of your buildings until you have three tanks. And then, uh, yeah. And then make, tanks are a bigger priority over medevacs, so if you ever not, don't have enough gas at a moment, prioritize the tank first. Just keep making SCVs, though. Okay. And then re-rally your, re -re your main to your natural as well, because you're going to start oversaturating. I need a supply thing. Uh, yeah, you're, uh, you should be making a spider bow here now soon, too, like you are. Make a tech lab on that racks that you just started, and make a reactor on your starport. And then, you honestly make, like, another depot right now, too. Because now that all this production is going to come online, you're going to go up pretty fast in supply. Keep making SCVs. Siege that tank, and make another tank. Keep making marines and start stim pack when you can too. Uh, you can't yet at the moment, but as soon as you have enough gas, start stim pack. Oh, I got too many preloaded here. Start another depot when you can. Probably one more. I got. I'm going here. And yeah, you keep doing it. Uh, you'll make another one too, cause uh, perfect. Yeah, you're gonna definitely start ramping. Okay. And then uh, make another uh, stim pack upgrade and keep making SCVs and keep making marines. Stim or stim stim pack stim pack. And now, right right about now, your natural's getting really well saturated. Keep making SCVs, but you're going to be able to make a third CC. Like, like probably build it as soon as you can right now, because you're really close. So start third CC, 
You could probably use one of the depot SCVs or just send one of the depot SCVs back to mine minerals at this point. And now, this is when you would scout again, okay? But we're not doing that, so it's fine. So, it's tank again. Oh, yeah. Last tank. And then make medevac. And as soon as you have a little bit of money, take your gas at your natural and take double engineering bay. So keep making, but keep making SCVs the whole time. So SCV, SCV is priority, and Marines are also a priority right now. So keep making Marines as well. Don't forget to do that. And then start making depots again, uh, with, with like one SCV for now, because your your command center finishing is going to give you a big boost as well. Okay, and then keep making SCVs. And then no more tanks. You're done with tanks. You're, so you're good. You can saturate that gas. Keep making marines. And keep making SCVs. Start another depot after that depot is done. You're doing great. Your command center is going to finish. Instantly orbital command that command center. Instant orbital. That way you can generate as much mule energy as possible. And then don't actually start a barracks yet. Cancel that. This oh. is too early. Uh, start another command center. Honestly, you want to go uh, four CCs before you explode production. Okay. And then now just maintain production out of everything but the factory. So SCVs, Marines, and Medivacs. As soon as you have like, uh, and also start those upgrades too. As soon as you have like uh, 25 um, Marines, once you, like you have a good amount now, I would say you load up two Medivacs and do your, try to do a scout. But try to also make her, before you start it, make her in units. And make sure you're like still making units. Just never stop. Should I maybe move this thing over? Yeah, the, 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 I would say the scout would have been priority. Right there, just, just for a second. Uh, but it, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's either way, it's honestly fine. Uh, just you want to get the scout going though, as well. And then, yeah, dro yeah, drop in your third base. And now re-rally all your command centers to your third and grab the excess off your natural. And keep making units. Just, again, never stopping units is the biggest thing of all. So keep making Marines. And look at your money. You're doing a pretty good job spending it. But it's still going up, which means now is when you start your extra, like, five barracks, okay? So throw it on, like, five racks all at once right now. And wherever you can fit them, does not matter. It could be at your third. It could be at your main. Wherever feels good. But just keep making units while you do this. And then also now, we're talking about upgrades really fast. Get combat shield. Get your armory for your engineering bay upgrades. So start an army when you can. And then uh, get that command center to your next base like you are. And get ready to planetary that. And now start your gas at your third because you're fully saturated. And keep making units. And now you can do the drop if you want to. Do a drop in the natural in the main. When you just get a second to do it. And keep making units. And keep making depots so you're going to block soon. Probably throw down like three depots at once right now because you're about to really explode your production. And then just take one second, stim pack, stim pack, stop looking at it. Don't look at it after one stim. And then just don't even look at it. Go back to your base and macro. And then throw down uh, all your reactors on your racks. Fix your third base now. See how it's super saturated and your fourth base is landing. Rally it to your fourth and move the excess. And keep making SCVs and keep making Marines. And what one of your racks doesn't have a reactor started, so start that too when you can. And also start your upgrades on your engineering bay. It's all a lot of stuff, tons of fucking maintenance right now of your base. And then don't say yes to that. The yeah, right? You just fucking own them. Just go for that max and see how fast you can do it. Make more depots. You're so close to actually doing better than I did, which would be fucking amazing for you. And then uh, keep it going. Uh, you're, you're, you're done on depots. No more depots. Just keep making SCVs and keep making Marines. Just slam out Marines. And you can also start making Thors like you are. Good shit. So make Marines and throw down a couple medevacs. I would say transfer a couple SCVs into your gases at your third, like two and two. And then keep making units. Keep making Marines. You're almost there, dude. You're so, like one more round, make more, more medevacs. Make another round of Marines, make another Thor. And you're going to max out faster than I did. Come on. Come on, bro. You got six supply to go. I maxed out at like 950 in the example, and you are now maxed. Oh, you're one fucking supply off. You're like basically maxed up. We'll just say 940, because yeah, there you go. You're like 942. You literally maxed faster than I did in the example. So you're capable of maxing fucking fast. 
And if you get really good at this, you could probably max out at like 925, 930. Uh, so good fucking shit, man. That's super good. Just like how did uh, how did that feel doing this this game? Did did it uh like does it feel like it made sense overall for you again? And how, how you feeling? Yeah, I mean it totally makes sense. It's awesome. I think yeah, having your your voice in my ear just like concert mark because I'm like I'm almost I'm almost there like. I'm like right with you. There's a few times though, a few times where like, okay, you know, remember to, I'm not doing anything right now, by the way, I'm just sitting here. No, I, I know, I know. Um, yeah, so it's good. It, I mean, it's kind of, it, yeah, it's fun. It's, it, it felt good. Uh, I was like, I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> I, I didn't look at the clock at all, to be honest. Yeah, you but, fucking beat my time. And, uh, that's, that's great. I was just like trying to do it. And then it was like, uh, you ended up being all right. There's, there's so, a lot of times. I think the issue is, Oh, sorry, go ahead. Keep going. Should I quit this? Game? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We, we, yeah, with I just wanted to... Like, that max is great. So, I keep going, but really quick, I would say definitely save the... Uh, you could save the either my replay or your replay that just happened. It, like The funny thing is, is normally I'd be like, save my replay so you have a reference. But with, the, like, with me giving you a reference, I feel like it was a goal that was attainable. I'm not going to lie. I did not expect you to hit it. But you fucking surpassed it. <laughs> so you could even save yours and use that as a future reference. Just as something to like have a checkpoint if you ever forget and you're like, oh fuck, well, what was it again? What am I supposed to be doing? Like, why am I falling behind again? Why am I now maxing out once again at like 10.45 or like 10.32? Why am I not maxing out a full minute before that? Yeah. And this could be like, oh, he, I'm supposed to be doing the fourth command center before making extra racks. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, yeah definitely okay. early earlier on the the four cc than i think i normally would have so that maybe that's the difference also like i didn't get attacked or anything so that For was sure. kind of nice and i had a uh, pro gamer telling me what to do which is also nice so i think that the odds were definitely stacked in my favor for about as good as it could go. Yeah. Um, so thank you. <laughs> for sure, man. Like, but, uh, keep in mind the biggest thing about the build, about why it works, okay, is it's greedy, but it's safe greed. So that's why I tell you to make the tanks because your tanks are going to allow you to do something like make a fourth command center and sit there. And if you get attacked, you have a defensive setup already that your opponent's running into, and then you have a bunch of Marines and medevacs that are just going to support it as well. It's not like you're going to be walking mid-map and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm unseaged and he's attacking. Oh, God, I got to, like, siege right up now and everything's dying. That's obviously, yeah. if, if you had a low army like you do, you'd probably lose if you did that. But if you're already sieged and already have, like, defensive buildings that are going to, like, catch some of the damage too, like your command center might eat some of the damage because your opponent's, like, getting stuck on it for a second. It's just buying you more time to shoot with more tanks and shit like that. Yeah, it's funny you see that though, Vibe, because I, uh, so the one, I just, like I said, I skimmed quickly back from like a replay from yesterday, the day before, I just wanted to pick a short one, and I quickly yeah. went through it, I was like, it actually is kind of funny, because, and I'm sure going through it, if we watched it, we'd be like, oh yeah, like this is what you weren't doing, but that's kind of what happened, and the guy actually chirped me, it was, it was all good fun, he was like, oh, you got a bit greedy there, because I think I went for a fourth CC, uh -huh. so I'm wondering, I'm not sure what we have for time, like I think it was an only eight minute replay, if we'd be able to just, I could send you that, and then we could take a quick skim through that, I'm not sure how that would work technically. Yeah, um, I, I, we, just, could, we could do a super fast skim on it, that's fine. Yeah. Just uh, um, send me the, like all you gotta do is drop the replay file into the, ch into the chat we have here for Discord, and then it would just, I could just open it straight up. Or, or even, okay. honestly, you could just load it up in StarCraft. Or you, you give it to me. It's, it works, too. So I'll open it. Oh, yeah. That might that might work. Yeah. Uh, you, if you have it in the game, if you easily can just open it in the replays of your actual game, just open it up and then invite me to the replay and with watch with others. And then I could just do it through okay. StarCraft as well. Since you're... Because uh, if yeah. your laptop's going to explode doing some streaming shit with Discord, we don't have to do that. Yeah, two seconds then. Uh, the guy's name was Chance, I think. And then I'll, yeah, I got it here. Can I right. go watch with others. Yeah, so hit watch with others, and then I'll send you a message. And then all you gotta do is right-click my purple name, and then hit just invite to lobby or invite to game or whatever. There you go. Okay. And then when I'm in here now, right-click my name in the lobby itself on the top left, and then hit promote to lobby host. Perfect. You are the, Hell you are yeah. the captain now. Yes. Good job. <laughs> All right, and then we'll uh, I'll uh, speed through it really quick with you, and uh, I'll give you like a quick uh, estimation as to what looked like it went wrong here for you. Yeah, and that's all I did before was I just quickly skimmed it because I was like, "Ooh, I gotta find one that was short," and then it happened to be the one that. 
kind of describe the situation that you just said, where it was like, yeah. you, you got a bit greedy, and then, so I'm sure I, I messed up. Didn't yeah. do the build. If you, if you ever do it, so. if you ever are the greedier version of, like, if you're ever the greedier person in the game, you should never be attacking. If you attack and you, like, you get caught while you're attacking, you're dead. You just lose the game. Yeah. I don't think I attacked. I think I think I did my drop, <laughs> and then he kind of pushed back. Okay. And I kind of, like, wet paper bagged over. Sure. Uh, Is the, um, so you have camera control, or how does that work? I do. So, um, I don't think you can actually watch my camera's perspective from, uh... With for both observing, because you, you the only okay. way you can do it is like I can't even see your name in the in the thing either when I hit everyone. It's just you. It's it's your your actual game of Terran here versus the Protoss guy, but I don't see okay. you yourself as the observer in the game, and I don't see myself either. So you can't. I don't. I don't think. I think the only way that would work is if you actually followed me in Discord stream, or if you watch the VOD after, you'll see my stream then. Uh, which will, it'll be a VOD, right? So I'm making this a VOD, and I'll send it to you later, so you'll actually be able to watch this again in the future. Uh, if you ever want like a refresher with, oh, yeah. with us talking. Um, thank you, man. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Uh, but I'll just kind of explain to you what I'm looking at uh, thoroughly here for you, I guess, to be like, like the idea of everything. So I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be like, shouldn't have done that, and then you're like, shouldn't have done what? <laughs> like what? What the fuck does he mean? I'll make sure I explain what I'm talking yeah. about. Cool. Uh, but yeah, so far in this game for you, it's gone pretty fine. Like right there though. So when uh, your barracks was done and you made a marine, you actually had about like 30 seconds before you made a reactor. That's huge. You definitely can't do shit like that. That's the kind of shit that's going to yeah. make you never max. And then your command center, same thing in your main base, was about 10 seconds of nothing. Command center, the natural. Uh, I'd have to look at it again, but I it, I saw it when it wasn't in orbital. So like right here, watch your, watch your command center, the natural, okay? Like 308, 309... 309, it's done. How long do you wait to make an orbital? No, no, okay, that was really good. That was super fucking good. So I, I wasn't sure, but uh, that was definitely a lot better than I was thinking it might have been. Okay, you're making another barracks. Build-wise, so far, though, yeah. like, the order of shit is still fine for you. This game. Just timing-wise is a bit off sometimes. I feel like at one point I saw an... I thought I saw in your series where it was like, don't do the second refinery until you're starting the tech lab on the factory. Was that? Did I miss you or that? So, maybe? Th it's that. The, the build can uh, change over time, and it depends. Let me just say it like this, okay? It depends what you're dealing with. And if you ever deal with somebody <clears throat> who is. If you, if you feel like your average opponent is more aggressive, okay? And you're like always getting a fucking attack. And you're like, okay, I'm always uh, getting pressured heavily by stalkers, or I'm getting pressured heavily by marines, or zerglings, or roaches, or ravagers, or whatever race it is, and whatever units they're making. If you take a faster gas, it is a safer way to do it. If you take a delayed gas, it is a greedier way to do it. So the only reason why okay. I'm telling you to do the gas faster is because it is a safer way to do it. And like for the coaching lesson. And if you ever feel like you struggle in early game to get shit off the ground, but again, you're dying constantly, it'll definitely help you not die in the future because it'll have you, a, it'll give yeah. you a more safe option here. And I like, I like that. Yeah. Safety is good. So yeah, yeah. I would say if you take a gas as you take the factory, it's just safer. Because if if I actually have you go as greedy as saying, just uh, take the gas as you take the tech, like uh, when the factory's done, and then you start the gas after that. You're definitely going to get a third command center way fucking faster. But then if you're like, well, I'm always dying to all ends, though, vibe. Like, how do I stop that? The gas faster is definitely going to help you a little bit there. And we still maxed out okay. at, like, 930, 940 for you. It was, like, like 942. So that's, uh, you're, you're going to still be greedy as fuck. And if you went for, like, let's just say you went for a delayed gas, you could probably max out at, like, 910. But you have a higher chance to die early game if Dude, he attacks you. I actually... You said it was nine. I, I maybe I blanked out or something. I, I, I we maxed it at like nine forty. I thought we maxed out at ten minutes. No, there. it was nine forty two. You maxed out at nine forty two. I maxed out in my that's example. I wanted you to different. emulate at like nine fifty three or some shit like that. And I was like, he yeah, probably. I, I thought the... we were like super close to yours within like a second or something because I've I've never went under ten minutes. So yeah. Sweet. <laughs> no, exactly right. Like if you, that's the power of macro. Um, and I'm super proud that like you actually yeah. did it that well for your first time. Uh, I was like, okay, fuck well, yeah. 
What a, what a boss. I was expecting like a 1030 or something. <laughs> but yeah, you fucking crushed it. Not like, well, we'll see what happens here. I don't even think I get to a max, but yeah, that's <clears throat> more normal in my in-game stuff. But yeah. what we got here? This prick trying to kill me with stalker? Yeah, so here I would say like against Protoss, never do depots like this right off the bat. You can do it once you have a tank. And I know I've said this as well in beta GM, and it, you, okay, you you can do this, but it's going to be annoying. I would say against Protoss, it probably would feel better to put your initial depots behind your base until you have a tank. But, okay. and against Terran, probably the same thing. But it, like, just yeah, probably, yeah. In Terran, you said not to, and I yeah. definitely, but I haven't been doing that, but it's still on Zerg and, and Toss. I guess I was doing the, the depots up front. But you, yeah, I guess you'd yeah. get like sniped with. You stuff. definitely want to do it against Zerg always. You always want to initially wall off against Zerg. If you don't, it's fucking scary. But against Protoss, like, it, yeah. the stalkers were harassing you and it was super annoying. So uh, it's is it always going to happen like that? Not necessarily. But I feel like if you just wait till you have a tank and then start making depots, you probably have a less annoying time. Just just if you, if you want to cool. make that a general rule for yourself, it'll be. Uh, uh, and because uh, we'll yeah, this is this was kind of annoying for you to deal with, and yeah, and then now you're fine because the tank's there. But having a wall eventually is really good against Protoss because it totally fucks over charge lots like massively. Okay. Taking some notes here, Vibu. Yep, yep. Taking some notes, you old pen and paper. And then this game, you actually got a third command center properly. You took it, uh, but like right after your initial like. Double rack starport factory, but you took another racks this time after your starport, so that's another thing that's going to be uh, slowing down your max because now you're going for the barracks, which in theory might make you think you might max faster, but more economy is going to make you max faster always because you have more money to spend and it'll have that big barracks explosion happening faster. So, uh, right, yeah. Right. So that I think normally I don't do that, but I, I feel like in recent times I've been like not been a, being able to spend all my money so i started like doing a, a couple racks like as i'm building the mm -hmm. third cc or something i don't know what i did there yeah <clears throat> overall your timings of most things though are pretty good it's just your fourth command center is a bit late i would say and you're because you're, you've made it after four racks instead of two racks but you're like overall though not that bad honestly it's really not that bad i'm not trying to be like oh well this is way off you're actually not doing that bad it's still pretty close so yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see how I lose. Th oh, this is how you lose, though. Like, your buildings are not that bad, but your usage of your buildings is really bad. Watch. Watch this. Watch your... Uh, let's go back a little bit more. Okay. Watch your barracks. Like, I'm literally... I want you to put your camera right on top of your barracks and your factory and your starport. Like, just see all of it. Okay. So I'm, I'm looking at the middle of your production right now. Now we're going to hit play. And now watch your barracks to the I reactor. I just watch my... Um, oh. I can select the uh, command group four or whatever too. Yeah, it's also fine. I just want to watch how much downtime you have on your buildings for your military. And right now your reactor racks is not doing anything for... And now your other racks is not doing anything. And that was... The reactor one was not doing anything for probably like 13 seconds there. And your tech lab racks was not doing anything for probably like 8 seconds there. And then okay. now we'll watch your factory for a second. So your factory is finishing a tank. And factory... And you have... Look at your resources. You have plenty, and your factory's done. You have 529, and from 529 until what do you not make a tank for? Your, your barracks are doing something again, which is good, but 529 was the last made a tank when it finished. And now your barracks is also doing nothing. One of them is doing nothing. And then your starport now finished two medevacs, and your resources are all still pretty good, but you're doing nothing with the, rack, with the, with the factory and the starport, and now both your racks are also doing nothing. Yeah. What am I doing right now? Oh, I'm doing my drop. Yeah. Maybe or no? Uh, you're you're starting like you're loading it up in your base right now. Uh, oh. Okay. But you're like you have another racks even above the starport that is doing nothing, and it's done with a reactor. You just aren't building shit out of okay. your buildings this game, which is why you have so much money. Because last game, yeah. Like I can't like if you remember if you if you if, like, if you were to watch the vod again or if you remember what I was telling you, I kept saying. Keep making Marines, keep making SVs. Keep making Marines, keep making SVs. Keep making Marines. I said that probably like yeah. 40 times the game. Because this is what yeah. happens if you don't do that. I know 
that, but it's like it's I don't do it for some no, reason. No, hundred percent. So it's because yeah. you get distracted. Uh, that's hundred percent because there's like a hundred things going on, and you're like, okay, yeah. I gotta set up my gas. I gotta rotate. I gotta not spy black. I gotta get engineering bay upgrades. I gotta get uh, depot walls. I gotta get my upgrades in my tech labs. I gotta get more buildings. I gotta get my fourth base. I gotta set up my third. It's like just fucking. And I gotta scout them. I gotta drop them. I gotta attack them. I gotta stim pack. You're like, fuck. I'm doing so much shit at once that you're like, oh, how long has it been? I feel like went down this like tangent thought process tunnel and it's been 90 seconds since I built a tank. <laughs> oh fuck. I got to build a tank yeah. again or something like that. And you're like, Oh fuck. We'll the start. Yeah. The Starcraft drug. It's a, yeah, uh, man. Um, it's, it's but, it, yeah, this and, is the kind of shit. That that's definitely why I don't you. feel like, yeah, I don't feel like I'm, I'm at the plat diamond level. Cause I'm just not used to five, four, five, four. I'm just, for I'm, sure. I'm developing it, but I'm just not quite there. And it, it you, all you got to do as well is you do it so much that it. I'm not even kidding when I say this. It's so real. It becomes a muscle memory. You don't even actually uh, dedicate thought process to doing it once you've do it, done it so many times. You just right. do it. And then you actually do think, right. what is he doing? I wonder what his build is. Okay, so he took uh, three gases early, and I saw a uh, robo or something. And maybe that's going to be Colossus, or maybe he's going to go for like a disruptor push or Maybe he's going to go for a prism. I'm, you know, think about it. And then you're like, a minute's gone by of you thinking like that. But you have used your buildings the entire time. And you didn't even think about using your barracks. But you just did it with your hands because you've done it so many times. So it's just like automation. I, yeah. No, I 100% believe you. I mean, it's like any sport or anything, right? When you yeah. start off. here. Well, for, for the Americans, you start off learning how to play hockey and you can barely skate. You can't hold a, hold exactly, a stick yeah. and move a puck around. Yeah, and then what, suddenly, yeah. like, years of experience, and you're, like, fucking skating like a champ, and you don't even think about, like, what it feels like. There's no, like, like stress there. There's no... You're not second-guessing yeah, yourself about, like, your balance and shit. You just fucking feel it. Like, you can do whatever you want. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely uh, 100% of just watching this, the reason why you lost the game is because your efficiency of your buildings is just not there. Yeah. And then now we'll fast-forward it super hard, and we'll see. Here's the fun test, okay? Resources lost, basically nothing this game. You guys have lost, like, scouts, essentially. And, uh, like, he harassed, like, he killed two units with his stalker harass, and you killed one probe. Uh, but Where do you feel? Sorry? Let's say hit, hit L, and you can see resources it. lost. It's like, barely nothing oh, okay. has happened. And what we're going to do for fun yeah. is we're going to get to the point to where you maxed out last time, with the example we just had. So you have two drops. Your drops did honestly equivalent damage to what you lost, pretty much. You did some damage, but you lost like value-wise. You guys are about tied. It's really close. You're within like uh, 225 resources of each other. Six workers killed. Nice. Yeah. And now I'm gonna pause it right here, right before you start losing shit, like realistically. And at this point in the game, at nine, you maxed out last game at like 9:40 or uh, sorry, nine. Was it 9:42? I think it was 942. Uh, I don't know. I yeah. Totally, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's because I maxed out. I think you maxed out in 10 seconds faster than I did. I did like 952. Uh, and you're at 912, which is only 30 seconds before you maxed. And when you were at 912, if we were to go back and look at the replay, I do believe right now you would have been about like 170 supply, 160 to 170 supply in that last game. And if you were at that still right now, the odds of you, like, just imagine if you had another 30 fu fucking supply of marines, or like 40 supply of marines. You would yeah. destroy this army. Like, you would have such a big marine ball that would just be able to run this over. Yeah. Uh, another thing, too, that yeah. you should be yeah. doing. I saw, I saw you do this in the game I watched you just now as well, and you're doing it in this game, too. Make sure when you grab all, your, when you have all your buildings the way you do in, like, group four, rally it to, yeah. like, the front of your base, like, where your tank is at your depot wall. Because the fact that your Marines are so stacked around your racks right now, and your third base is so exposed, this is gonna, it's like making it to where this is gonna take more damage because you're not really defending your third. Like, you have no chance to defend your third. So, uh, and that's, yeah. that's a big deal. Do you remember in the in the example I gave you? This is something I didn't really talk to you about because we talked about concept in mine and we talked about just doing the build order in yours. But in mine, if you remember, I moved my Marines to my third as I took my third, and I moved one tank yep. to my third as well. If you and did that, as well. exactly. And I have like one tank guarding the main, one tank guarding the natural, one tank guarding the third. And if you did that as well, and you had like your Marines that were being made 
constantly like being rallied to like the front of your natural and then once you get a big blob there maybe cut it in half and send more of it to your third to like just stationarily have units just kind of like chilling at bases to guard SCVs even though they're not doing anything but you move them to a spot to where if you get yeah. attacked they will do something you need to do that too yeah if you do that more yeah you will have such a better like management of your economy about defending it I feel like normally I do that, but obviously I didn't hear. So, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I don't. You can't play every single game perfect. I totally get that, but definitely make that a make that something that an effort you're putting into. That you, so make that like the second thing you work on. The first thing you work on is okay. Being like, oh fuck, I'm like playing game after game, and I keep maxing out before ten minutes now. Holy shit, I'm like a speed demon here. And then the second thing you should work on once you feel comfortable with that is make sure you put your units in spots where they will guard you if you get attacked instead of standing like around your racks like this okay. uh and try yeah, to do we'll both do that, if you sir. can but yeah definitely work take it like one thing at a time if you feel like it's becoming a struggle yeah and then dude i feel like if you do that you'll have such better odds because i can already tell this game the two reasons why you're gonna die is number one your base just wasn't building as much as it should have been so you're behind where you should be and the second reason why is because you're gonna like, like lose your third now you're totally out of position, yeah. and you're now going to be fucked in economy, and he is not. So you're going to be on defense all game now, and that's not the position you want to be against Protoss. Uh, like, this heavily, because now the only way you get out of a position like this is through fancy fucking micro. Like, you need to be, like, dropping his base while defending yours at the same time to get out of a situation like this now. It's not, not going to happen, Vibe. No, exactly, right? <laughs> like, you, it's like, you got to be... You have to play very well to get out of a position where you're just economically at a disadvantage versus Protoss. And this is why yeah. it, now you're going to be, because this is going to be brutal. So right there, like, look at your third yeah. now. <laughs> That's a sad third. <laughs> it's got zero CVs now. And it's even dead as well. It died. So it's even worse. And then your fourth is dying. Well, now, yeah, your four base versus two base, you were so fucked. Like, this is a uh, hard, this is, like, almost impossible to come back from now. Yeah, you definitely could have defended that if you had uh, the other things going on we talked about. Yeah. But, anyways, yeah. I, hope, I hope that makes sense, though. And. Uh, oh, totally. Yeah, yeah 100%. So, uh, before we wrap up, do you have any final questions about anything we talked about that might not have made sense? Oh, man. It it went by, yeah, it went by so fast. No, I know, it was, right? Uh, yeah. It was just awesome, man. Yeah, no, um, I know. Like, like I said, I wrote notes down, and I'll definitely, I'll uh, rewatch what you did there. And yep. yeah, no, I, I don't really have any questions. Fuck um, yeah, man. Yeah, just well, thanks just, so much. No uh, worries. That you've, uh, yeah, just you've helped a lot, and, and yeah. Just to let you know how it's going to go, uh, I will edit this out later tonight when my stream's over today, and then I'll post it to YouTube, and I'll send you the link of the YouTube video in Discord chat where you sent the replay. I'll send you the YouTube link by probably tomorrow, if not maybe the day after, and then uh, so you'll have it within a day or two. And then after that, it literally as much as you want to watch it. If, if you want to watch it again, feel free, and then it can always be like a reminder like or a little refresher to where... Yeah. I guarantee if you watch it or if you listen to it right now like what we just went through you probably feel like we talked about some stuff and you're like okay yeah that makes sense but then I bet if I were to ask you like to write down on a piece of paper like everything that you feel like you learned you might write down maybe like five things maybe seven things I don't, or th three things it doesn't really matter but I guarantee if you watch it again you'd write down more things because if you watched it a second time you'd be like holy fuck I don't remember talking about this I forgot about this and oh yeah it makes so much more sense now that I feel because as you like learn more more shit clicks the next time you hear it again. Uh, so I would definitely recommend watching this maybe like at least one more time or a couple more times whenever you get time down the line, maybe a month from now or a week from now or yeah. something. And then, yeah, fuck, sure. fuck yeah, dude. You'll That's awesome. Yeah, I just want to say, uh, I know everyone's always super appreciative for the most part, but yeah, I really appreciate certainly the help here and, and just your videos online. I know it's a ton of work and you put up a lot of crap from Twitch is not that <laughs> bad or whatever, but yeah, man, it's, it, you've uh, provided a lot of people a lot of super good instruction. And, and I actually, um, I was an instructor before and in some other stuff, uh, like flying actually. And so nice. I, I have a really good appreciation for instructional techniques. And like you, I don't know if you ever did that for a job, like no, professionally instructing people. No. You use a lot of, a lot of 
good instructional techniques. So good on you, man, for sure. Nice, thanks, dude. Yeah, I feel like the the only instruction I have is uh, I used to work at a restaurant, and then I was not like a trainer there or anything like that. But every once in a while, somebody would ask me to fill in to train somebody to do something, and then I always thought to myself, every time I ever listened to anyone else train people, they were so vague all the time, and every time the person was done with training, they were like still confused as fuck. And they're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I'll like put an effort into like actually helping this person. <laughs> and then yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, just, I put effort into teaching, I guess. Like, yeah, it's cool when when you teach people too. It's definitely uh, yeah, I found it pretty rewarding. So yeah, yeah. No, thanks again, Bob. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Have a good rest of your night. Shout out to your uh, girlfriend uh, for doing this, setting it up. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your yeah. evening. And yeah, thank you guys for doing it. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. All right. Take it easy, man. Yeah, you too. See ya. See ya. All right, guys. That has been a coaching lesson with Onslaught. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a, I would say, a plat level lesson uh, for Terran. So, guys, good luck to yourselves if you watch this and want to apply this in your own games. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, whatever we made, whatever we do. Until then, good luck and uh, take it easy, guys. Peace.